point. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that, bro. I'm gonna tell you if you stop adding her. <laughs> I swear that was <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just playing, yo. I'm just joking. Oh, man. That is loud. My fault. My fault. I'll be forgetting how loud it is. You know, I gotta fix the sensitivity for longevity, for the energy. Wow. Trying nice to just be a better me. Anyway, we are here once again. Yours truly, DJ Not. You ain't joking? No, no, Got one? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, I'm about no, to say, interrupt. messing up my intro and stuff like that. What's good, y'all? Yours truly, DJ Not. Here again for another magnificent edition of Pause for Applause podcast. We are back at full strength for a kind of sort of queen still here. So anyway, alongside my partner in crime, the one and only. Oh, we we here already. We here already. We here already. Talk to him, will you? Yo, man, it's Will, man. It's Will a thrill. <laughs> Professional shit talking extraordinaire. I'm trying to take your job. Love of the people, the culture, and everything about it. Hey, yeah. Cool. That was, that was kind of crispy right there. Yo, let me tell you something, man. What happened? Yo, you see the energy this thing be on? Like, yo. <laughs> yeah, what you mean? Crazy. Yo, man. Like you, what you mean? I'm about to make up. I'm about to make up some. Face, you yeah. I'm about to make Kobe up just some random right some random rumor on you. <laughs> nah, yeah, trust me, there's enough stuff out there that's true. You ain't put it on ATL scoop. You ain't gotta make up oh, nothing. We're gonna get to that in one Rant. second. We're gonna get to that in one some, second. Some random wait a minute. Court's here. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> he sounded just like that shit. Court they forgot they, yo, somebody said they, they 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 thought you forgot where the studio was. I ain't, it's not for me. <laughs> somebody just said it. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> What's going on with the universe, somebody man? Somebody asked me, yo, niggas say your court locked up. Right. <laughs> like, yo. yo. No, nah, seriously. I'm man. not putting yo. that on nobody. No, no nah, I don't I even swear, joke like I that. Yo, bro. Though, when my mom called me, if I missed at least three of her phone calls or go yeah. like three, four hours without talking to her, jail? she's checking books. Yeah. I promise you. Not hospitals. She'd be like, no, you wasn't in jail. I checked the counties already. I'd be like, yo, ma, that's wild. <laughs> That's wild. Like every time yeah, I go missing, that's the first place you yeah, check. Hey, love, bro. How does it make yeah. you? How does it make you feel as a son? That's you, what you're... I can't get mad, bro. I, I, look, I can't get mad. Hey, hey bro. At least she, she, yo, she, she coming help. A lot to help. of times when I'm when I go missing, it's because yeah, I'm, I'm, about, I'm, in, I'm in the box and I ain't trying to tell you. Yeah, it'd be like that. that. It's, it's real life. Always. Oh boy, I'm glad I've never been to anyway. So. <laughs> We're not telling any of these stories. Nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing it. Doing we're not doing these that. Today, we're not doing that. Not today, Satan. <laughs> not today. Hey, she better try, hey, Jesus. Hold hey, on. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, y'all missed it. I was just telling Joe, man. Hey, man. Striving to be Christ-like. Mm. I ain't him. That's real. Right. That's real. I am. Man. I, this shit got a head. That's right. <laughs> we are all his children. That's it. It could go bad quick, though. And um, we are here. Looking crazy after the fact. Like, to go damn, bro. You know what? Did that. <laughs> like, Will, you, you all right? Huh? <laughs> Yo, folks, it's over. Yo. Bring it back down now. <laughs> Thought you was a change man. I'll try to get them off. Yeah. <laughs> That's hey, what bro. each new day is about. Hey, bro. It's a daily struggle, man. Right, I'm trying hey, to tell you. Thank God for the sun coming up. Thank Boy. you, Lord. Hey, wake up in the morning. Hey, thank you, Lord. I'm trying Ooh. to tell you. Wake God. up in the morning, got the herb. That's the, we're talking about Christ, and you have to drink the herb? Shout out Channel Live. Mad is. Hey, man. Karis won. Ver- so did you um, Versus. We're going to get right into it? Not, not, no care what nobody had to say. Oh, D-Hall, what up, G? Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting on somebody to... Uh... How was your weekend, Will? <laughs> He's about to say, I'm waiting for somebody to be a host. Well, you. since you asked. <laughs> <laughs> right. Jesus. Let me drive the boat. Sure. Right. This guy over here. And you know, for real, how, how was your weekend? Yeah. Knowing damn well I'm about to say... <laughs> I, I ain't do, do shit. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. That's the funniest part of it. What did I do this weekend? This week? What did you do yesterday, yo? No, I did tell. Oh, my kids. I had the kids. Um, so, all right. So, <laughs> yes, I, I, I got my daddy moment of the week. You know, like every, every weekend we got to do something that's different. And, we love, you know we love mean? hearing about it. I know you do. Yeah. All right. So, we, um, my kids came. I was like, hey, let's do something. Let's make something. So, we, um, me, I got them in the kitchen and we baked bread. We made homemade bread. So, y'all made counterfeit money. Whoa. That that's what you're doing? I mean like You're making him a part of the whoa, criminal syndicate the already? I'm just asking. Don't tell nobody about <laughs> this. <laughs> nah, what, what's the bread making process? Because I've done process, I did a lot bro. of things with my so, daughter, but mm-hmm. we never made bread. I mean we make dough. Yeah, so the, but mm, come on, come on, come on. It's Thursday, right? It's Thursday, right? Okay, no, let's go. Okay. Let's go. I like that. Mm, <laughs> nice. Fuck the cosmetics line. Okay. <laughs> yes. I see you dirt. <laughs> Daddy dirt. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Oh, um, <laughs> go ahead. Nah, so I mean, actually, the process is crazy because it like it shit requires time, man. Mm. Like you gotta mix the yeast and the milk and let it sit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta let that let knead the dough, mix everything together, let that sit. Mm. Four minutes to the bread, put it in a pan, let that sit. 
Wow. Then then you get to bake it. Yeah. So I just like the process of it, and then I, I, whether it does or not, I feel like it teaches you patience. True. You know what I mean, because you know, kids now want to microwave some shit, and they'd be like, "All right, let's go." Yeah. Yeah, I was like, definitely part of Easy yeah. Bake Oven because they were sitting there like, "Yo, what is? Why is it taking so long?" <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, I ain't gonna believe this shit, but it's really how bread is made." <laughs> Normally, it's a machine though. <laughs> how long? How long was the actual process? The actual like process. Yeah. Jamal, what up? So wow, bro, because some of that stuff you gotta let sit for an hour, man. Sit for thirty minutes. Like just those processes take you. Like and you have to, you can't rush them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like you gotta let the yeast do what it does. You gotta let the yeast you know yeast. I mean? you, gotta let, <laughs> you gotta let the yeast. <laughs> Whoa, yeast. that's not right. Sorry. My bad. Speaking of yeast, no. <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, I really like it when you talk about what you do with your kids because, you know, for a long time it was just me and my daughter. We did a lot mm-hmm. of fun stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of my exes around, who she was real tight with, and they did a lot of fun stuff together. But for the most part, it was just me and her. So mm-hmm. I was definitely daddy, easy bake oven. Oh, yeah. um, you know, like you, you, you saying. Did you, make, did you actually eat the nah, I ain't eat <laughs> Oh, no, it was delicious. Mm. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, um, you know she listens to you. Nah, she not. That's the best part about She's it. She's going to hit it. You know, my, listen, my daughter don't even like the post where I post her on. You know what I'm saying? She's going to know you were faking it. <laughs> <laughs> she can, can never get it yo, right. Yo, she can, can listen. It's always listen. the wrong picture. Yeah, those, 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 uh, <laughs> those fucking, uh, those easy big cakes are trash. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else is trash. It's fucking uh, Chuck E. Cheese pizza. No. Oh, my Dookie. gosh. What? Sorry, bro. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, here's the thing, Court. And this is, it, this is again, where the age gap comes oh. into play right <laughs> Cause you came around when Chuck E. Cheese started cracking, like so, like yeah, More likely, yeah. yeah I, so I, you was like, you was right there on the, on the yeah. cusp of like this shit popping off. First of all, Chuck E. Cheese was never cracking. Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like, yeah, not <laughs> us. Pizza. By the time Chuck E. Cheese came cracking, you was already fucking thirty years old. No? I, was, oh. I was cooking up something else out here. Mm. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, is that so loud? Nah, it's goodness. Let me bring yeah, that. you got that oh. shit in the glass. There we go. My gosh, bacon, right. bacon soda. Yeah, I think I'm at BQE right now. I'm a fan of Chuck E. Cheese pizza. <laughs> Are you? I just can't walk in there by myself. Yeah, Yo, you can. I can't, if I could, I right, go give me some pizza. But and pull up in a white van, right? I think I'm yeah, like, yeah, get this get in a white up. van. Yeah. It is yeah. ten fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not normal to just go get pizza from Chuck E. Cheese. So. Hey, can we oh, can we help? Yeah. You, sir? I could. I would. Huh? Right. Can we help you? you all right. Oh, yeah. Nice it's pizza. Like it's nice really, van. I just came to. <laughs> I just came to play the games. That's it. Hey. You on some can, you pull, can you pull your jeans up any higher? I'm trying to tell you, is that a signal? That's cool. Got a turtleneck you wearing? I've never heard anybody say Chuck E. Cheese pizza is bad. For really? real? Might have killed some a lot of people's childhood dreams with that one. Hey, you're welcome, y'all. Yeah, I saved I you. Man. Man. This I not dreams, I killed your childhood. childhood dreams for you to have a life. That childhood. shit is like <sighs> Roots, what's good, brother? Like Little Caesars is better than Chuck E. Cheese, and Little Caesars is trid All right. Each his own. Can we can we can we pivot out of this? Shout out to Nominos. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> All right. Um <laughs> obviously y'all can see Will is in a great mood today. Always in a great mood, my nigga. Yeah, especially how was, when How was your week? Oh, my week was dope. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Cause I'm just talking about it real quick. Uh, yeah. First of all, shout out to. Uh, you had a road trip. I did have a little mini road trip. I was. It was busy last weekend. Talk hip-hop, about it. Hip hop Chattanooga, uh, Chattanooga hip hop. Some of this past Saturday, first annual mm-hmm. one. Um, so uh, ran up there and spoke on a, a panel about using your brand for social good. Um, speaking about hip hop gets back. Mm. So uh, I want to shout them out first of all for having me. Um, working with my schedule <laughs> to make sure it, it went down because I was really just happy to be a part of that. Shout out, Sammy. Um, it was it was a good experience, man. And the thing that I one of the things that I liked about it was they had the whole conference outside, nice. right? They had the performances later that night, the concert, but the actual festival and the excuse me, the summit was all outside. So you didn't have to worry about COVID or being indoors or being entrapped and things like that. So they still had you know the warning signs and things like that for people to pay attention to. Absolutely. But, it was just it was it flowed very well, especially from someone who's been a part of several festivals at different levels. Some super established, some still growing, um, and some you know I've been a part of ones where they, it'll be their first one. Right. So the way it flowed, I, I like really he, enjoyed. I feel like he bragging. I'm not bragging. Nah, I'm just talking. Yeah. I'm bragging. I'm bragging about talk, Chattanooga hip hop. That's what now. I'm doing. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Go facts, man. Oh, one thousand percent. That one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Times ten. <laughs> now, um, so yeah, like I said, no shout out to them. I'm looking forward to working with them more to to see it build and grow. Cause certain things you can tell when people lay the foundation right, mm-hmm. you can tell it's on the right, path, the right path to growing. That's right. So right. I didn't know I had an ad lib, man. But anyway, you know you're doing great. I appreciate it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Queen's got your back. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but no, I would part. Mm-hmm. Like I said, all jokes aside, it was really dope to be a part of it. I wish I could have stayed longer. The vendors was really dope. 
Um, I like how they made it real accessible for people to put their businesses on display. Um, and I really enjoyed some of the other panels that I was there to stick around for. So um, if you guys are not, check out uh, Chat uh, Hip Hop. I'm not, not bad, not Chat Hip Hop. C-H-A Hip Hop. All together, one, one term, you guys can see a recap. I think they, they're still working on some more of those, but you can see some of the pictures from the event. And, um, yeah, congratulations and salute to y'all. So that was that. Um, also, one th- other thing I did on Saturday night after that, I came back and did the Twilight Zone. Shout out my man, uh, Carter Gang, put together an amazing celebration for his moms, um, an amazing celebration of talent. Yo, know, you know, Marietta got some talent, son. It was open mic? No. Oh. It was booked. Indie artists? It was booked indie artists who actually had something to talk about. And we actually had rehearsals leading up to it, and they were really doing a thing. Um, I need to pull up my phone in just so I could tag and shout out everybody. So, but um, he's got a recap on his page as well. But yeah, shout out uh, Ben Carter, man. I really enjoyed being a part of that. It it was something else, man. It was a lot of great energy, a lot of, of celebrating for different reasons. Celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Face coming through and Surprise, supporting us as well. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Reggie Beatty. Shout out him yeah, for coming through and maybe, helping as well. Maybe if we knew about it, we could have went. Oh, I mean, I only talked about it like three weeks prior, so I mean. Yeah. Nobody, don't, nobody, don't nobody believes it. Yeah. There, there, there's no record of such a thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't remember this in the recording. <laughs> Joe, yeah. delete, Joe, delete that shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> so. It never happened. Let's go. Why, why, be why. What up, G? There you go. Um, let's start on something positive. Okay. Your Knicks. Our Knicks. Let me not play. I'm a Knicks fan, too. Well, The Knicks are undefeated. Court is a Laker fan. Yeah, they are. Court, you a Laker fan? I'm a LeBron fan. Oh, I man. That's even that. more groupie-ish. Anyway. Oh, look, <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> no, listen. That's a valid groupie-ish of Ing. Is it? Yeah, oh, man. It's what LeBron. What do you mean? He earned that. He LeBron? earned groupies. Can you have a I can walk around group? proud and be like, yo, LeBron's the king and really have something to, pro- to bag it up about. Like, yo, that man's... It's a fair argument. I mean, it's wrong, but it's a fair. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, a lot of cats be out here be like, "Yo, Rondo, the best player ever." Like, uh, he, chill he out. A, Somebody a, says that he had a good two years, but hey, they be fanatics. The funny, LeBron's really like that. Nah, LeBron, the, LeBron is to be saluted, definitely. Yeah. Yo, the funniest shit about when we first pulled up <laughs> to, to the studio today, yo. Like, so the Knicks, are, Knicks, want to know. Yes, I say, yo, hey, I say, court championship. Knicks said what? <laughs> right, yo, it's so fake. I'm like, yo. Oh, your bro- wait, what? wait a minute. I'm saying you're off to the right start, right? Yeah, wait a minute. Want to know, right? Now, e- even funnier part about that is when I see that. 24 hours. Yeah, Laker fan. He was like, yeah, what's your record? On oh, one. We want to know. We're closer to a chip than you. <laughs> right. <laughs> y'all are losers right now. How yeah. y'all lose y'all first game, though? Laker fans? Ed, where you at? Hey, Ed ain't on here. I tell you what. It's gonna, it, bro, that, that's going to take time. If, if G State gets Clay back and Clay is anything like Clay. Yeah. When is Clay supposed to come back? Trust me, y'all. We're not gonna be on the sports in long. January, man. Oh, it's oh, they still. So when the season really starts, yeah, yeah, he's coming. But they don't need him right now. Yeah, I mean, Steph can hold him down. Hold him before all. Yeah, the the, the worst shit about that is, is they're gonna wind up being like a six seed or something crazy, and they're gonna smack the shit out of somebody. Three seed round, like Phoenix. You're you're in trouble. Yeah, Phoenix (laughs) will probably be three seed this year. Like you're you're in trouble, man. You gotta play them first. Yes, yeah, Lakers are stacked though, man. It's like, Bro, the Lakers are real. It's like, it's, it's gonna, they got to put it together. Put it in the so the geriatricness of the Lakers don't bother y'all? Nah, not at all. Okay, all right. Just wondering. Like they're old guys are fucking official, so it don't like they're not really old guys. Yeah, like I don't. I, right. But no, they're old as shit. But they don't. I don't need you to. <laughs> well, see, that's the, I don't need you to carry. That's the advantage with you know basketball I mean? these days, anyway. With the NBA period, it's a lot of cats that's very athletic. That's very you know that's experienced. Can, can, can jump out the gym, need... but their IQ is terrible. Yeah. So, they can no, get a team high. full of team full of old cats is not necessarily only, a only way only wild card on their whole team is, is Russ bro to me mm. because I don't I it's hate really yeah Brandon what up Russ without Ashley. the ball is a terrible NBA player who's that Russ without the ball is a terrible NBA player. what you mean he lazy no he's fucking he, he'll never be accused of that he can't shoot <sighs> he can't shoot he gonna find he's a streaky shooter yeah, like, he don't really cut he's streaky. really only deadly on the fast well he's break. A, he's been on the bad streak for about four years wow so I don't know when that's gonna improve hey exactly. yo that's that's what what I'm, I'm not hating no it's like, the truth like, it's not a lie yeah <laughs> the worst field goal percentage yeah he's like, like it's, it's really bad really don't got it can I can yeah. I tell you what's really bothering me about the NBA already Colin Kaepernick is not playing in his it. vaccine that mandates too. that they that they no both good points over the head and very much like knots for me to bring up those points but no my issue with the NBA is and I watched about five minutes of the uh, Brooklyn and Milwaukee game. Was that last night? No, that was, night uh, before. What, Monday? Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday. Opening night. And I saw um, Giannis coming down from half court, completely turn the ball over in his hand, and then take two steps after that, and there was no whistle. 
So oh, yeah. my problem, oh, yeah. I, and I know I'm old school. Yeah. I understand that, been but been this that this was so egregious. That extra step, is yo. He was cooking pasta with the whip game. That's how much he turned the ball. And I was like, yo, I can't watch this. Yeah, Giannis is a problem. Bro. He's not the only one. No, hell no. That shit been like that. That's what I'm saying. So until the NBA and the referees decide to start actually counting steps, oh, we're past pardon. That. that shit is over with. I'm just right. saying. Well, I just don't have the same excitement about the yeah, NBA. That shit, that shit, we passed that. Because I could count the two. I'm gonna tell you what the you know what I'm saying. So blatant, obvious ones. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you what they did switch up is the fucking like the pump fake and jump into somebody. Yeah, but I'm they know they, they stopped that. that. They, they, oh yeah, they ended that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people. They killed that. Yeah, yeah. Steph. Strategy, Steph. Steph. Yo, Steph tried at least three times that first game. It was like this. At least three times, first first three plays, and they were like, yeah, yeah, nah. Shit ain't gonna work, my boy. So they 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 could get rid of the pump fake, but you still can't count the three. Like, come on. Most of so, these hey, um, these back step three um step back threes who they did get that call are travels. LeBron. Oh, he's LeBron. Listen, man. Listen. <laughs> as, listen. as you stated earlier, listen, he's LeBron. Listen, listen. All right, all right. So we, all right. we y'all got anything else with sports? Mm-hmm. sports? Did the Jets win? Chill. Did it. Hey, the Jets didn't lose last week. It was on a bye week. They had a bye. <laughs> I was just checking. Like I said, you was in a good mood for a reason. Uh, so yeah. then, <laughs> Chicago got their first WNBA championship. Guess we can shout yes, yeah, yeah. Candace shout Parker. Candace Parker. Uh, yes. Can, why is it? Yeah, it's, is that the only I reason why y'all recognize Candace Parker? No, nah, Candace is nah, she's a legend. Okay. I was, I, uh, my fault. I mean, Monster, nah. I literally just tweeted the other day, like, from my generation personally, like, before social media got really hyped and you knew, you know, like, it was popular. Yeah. The only basketball player, women ball, woman ball player I knew about was like Kenneth Parker and Lisa Leslie. Yeah, that's, that's what it. What I heard about, yeah, like that, that's yeah, what made me yeah, know yeah. about what's the coach name that just rest in peace. Don't Pat say, Sum- oh, Sum- oh, oh no, 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 Pat, oh, Pat Summit. Summit. Damn. Damn. All that. No, I thought he was gonna say something else. Relax. Oh, I he, no, no, I thought he was gonna say hey, the don't. one that just got the new contract. Relax. Don't, I'm sorry. Yo, I control the mics. Don't, Remember that. Don't. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> let's stay accurate on here. There's one thing we're gonna do. No, I thought you was gonna rest in peace, Jelly. Prayers going up in Steely family. Oh my God! <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Gotta sir. get it in. All I was saying, I thought Court was gonna talk about Dawn and getting her, um, the big one of the biggest contract in women's, um, women's coaching, coaching basketball yeah, history. South Carolina coach. Yes. Yeah. yeah but okay. you went the other way. Yeah, I mean, because that's all I really knew about was yeah. Candace Parker. Yeah, don't really know other popular women's ball. So that's when, that's when Tennessee, Lisa Leslie, Tennessee was a machine, bro. Pat Summit and Candace Parker. Those only and that was it. The only thing I do that was really like Jeez. okay, that was it. Biggest things in nah, that's basketball. official. Wow, who else did you hear about? I mean, I may be wrong. I mean, but I, 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 mean, I, it's, I mean, yeah, I was kind of. Uh, how old was I when WNBA started? I, I remember it vividly, so I was I was old enough. So you were like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I ain't really You're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> But yeah. college, women's college basketball was around, and you had your lip. All right, I'm going to leave it alone. Hey, All right, so. <laughs> hey, look, before we get on sports real quick. Uh-huh. Sport, you find WNBA basketball entertaining? <sighs> That's a tough one. I'm going to give a brutal, honest answer. Yeah. No. All right. All right I respect all? it. Yeah, I respect no. it. Not at all? No, nah, she's not entertaining. All right. Sorry. That's the right. and that's the raw truth about it. Like yeah, I watch the championship games, money, but people have to watch. Yeah. I, I watch the championship <clears throat> stuff because of the magnitude of the game. I think that kind of adds to it. Right, but yeah. like just overall on a Tuesday, exactly. I'm all set. I don't want to see. I watch up. field hockey. They hop, they, listen, go bowling on ESPN. W W W highlights. You see number three pointers and layups. It's like oh, and she crossed over. I can do that at LA. <laughs> Fitness. Yeah. Like so, do you think they need to lower the goal to no, that, so they can no. start dunking? That might not be a bad idea. That's actually wow. You nuts? That's tough. Let's not act like I don't come up with genius shit all the time. No, 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 we're not, we're not acting. Tough. Okay, thank you. We're not acting. The ball's already yeah. smaller. So I don't see why they can't adjust the goal. <laughs> That's tough. That's what I said. No, we're not acting. <laughs> He's like, nah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, no. So no, it's true. <laughs> all right, man, come on. That's tough. So My becoming. What's? Exactly. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, <laughs> women hustle more than dudes. <laughs> hey, man. That's that's not a lie. Either. I do think they're extremely underpaid, though. Y'all can pay them a little bit more. Than but you just said you don't guy. watch. I understand that, but there's, still, there's still money to be made in different ways other than viewership. Better put a wig on Dame Lillard or some shit and put him out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what, what, if they, what, again, what if each team was that allowed to have Demina one Demina Lillard. Is that just... <laughs> that'd be wild. Man, that'd what be if each had to have one dude? That'd be wild. I mean... I wouldn't even want to participate as a dude. Cause I'll just be like, "Yo, should I go off or back me down?" I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> couple, couple more. <laughs> Pretty much, and we're canceled. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's actually better than what I was gonna say. So I'm glad you said that. Yolanda, what's good? 
Um, <laughs> jeez. Q, of course, man, respectfully, bro. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, but it is what it is. All right, There's man, let's go. Going on in sports, bro, man. Versus. Sports what, we want to go. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll draw the boat. Versus. Because you about to crash this shit. Super old. I go to work. It, it's not. K, not uh, BDK and KRS. Yes. <sighs> did you watch it all, Nas? I did. I did okay, watch okay, it all. Okay, I did. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest. The, the score is closer to what you what you predicted to be. I said 11 nine. What are you talking yeah. about? It was no, closer that, than that. No, it was close. No, it was closer to what you predicted. Oh, okay. I, I had it. I had it more of a uh, thirteen seven. Did you say? Yeah, something like that. Okay. I was a little more, but I, I will say this though, man. Like, you could like I, what I what happened is what I thought would happen is that that while KRS songs was gonna ring crazy, his stage performance ain't like Big Daddy Kane's. What did you think of KRS's uh, stage performance? What? <laughs> what did you think of it? Did you, was that a performance? Okay, no, nah, it was all right. Tell. It was all right. Do I tell. mean, it, it wasn't. Right, it, it, it wasn't Canes. Okay. It was, okay. I'll let that go. It, it wasn't Canes. Okay. I mean, why do you say that though? Like, I just think overall, um, you could tell Kane got his wind up. You know what I mean? He was ready to like. I was re- like, I've been out here doing this, so like, I'm my, <laughs> yo. Practice makes perfect, yo. Period. You know what I mean? And I can tell that like. His shape as far as performing and, and controlling his breath and everything, yeah. it was different than what KRS's was. Indeed. Indeed it was. You know what I mean? Now, now if I say song for song, KRS stone fucking body blows and haymakers. He was. I ain't going to lie. So, that, like, he – I mean, you knew he had him, but I thought the only way that Kane would kind of get the edges is the fact that Kane been on tour for fucking 40 years. Indeed. And maybe 40 was 10 too many. But you know what I mean? <laughs> 10 too many? <laughs> nah, maybe 30. <laughs> What was the views? Um, what was you know what we were talking about that. Um, give me a second. I Did you watch it? Hell no, he ain't watched. Cool, you ain't watch it at all. No. Not even a replay. Shit. So all of this, all of the drama that came up afterwards, or the kick Capri versus Scratch, and how KRS ain't finished most of his bars. And I and yeah. I got I got like at least one or two records from KRS one and Big Daddy yeah. Kane that well, I inside that the I, iPad. That I know about and I then I I still bump yeah. go I go to work oh, get my man. day started. Here you go. But anyway, uh, I, yeah, I did yeah. too. Wouldn't feel. Right. So it opened up. I man. do like yeah. the gesture that Big Daddy Kane made though for uh, Roxanne. So yes, like, you did I see thought, that. I thought that was very. That motivated. was salute. I was really clapping. You, you know what I'm talking about? about? Talk about it. T- 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 catch him up, Court. Uh, Roxanne Shante is like a legend from Queens. Yes. And you know she We're all came up are before from. your Nas's, and your, your top dogs, and she really was a she really was a heavy hitter yeah. in the rap game when it came to just freestyle battling. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of people, especially my generation, don't know these children. The, 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 <laughs> children. Now nah, keep going, Court. The, the the dope people that's that's came up that that's not necessarily still in the, in the limelight or has that that notoriety that they're supposed to have. Right. And I think that was that was that was dope. I Even think so people too. People like Big Daddy Kane and shout out shout out people that don't necessarily can speak for themselves or sometimes you need that cosign, man. Absolutely. You know, you can go around saying all day, yeah, I used to be this, I used to be that, but until the next person be like, yo, that dude, she really wasn't so now, like that. So now I was like, like that. oh, for real she was? Yeah. yeah. Man, that ass. For her, man. I think that was dope. Um, So what BDK, Big Daddy Kane did, uh, I think it was about halfway through the show, Roxanne Sh- Shantae came out. I think it was after KRS did, um, no, it was before the bridge is over. I don't well, know. That, it, was it, after the, it was after the bridge. It was after the bridge is over, right? The bridge is over. Okay, yeah. so yeah, that's how Big Daddy King counted, and he brought Roxanne Shante. She came out. She spit. Um, she did one of her joints. I can't it's remember the name of it because I'm trying to do too so much at once. Um, but anyway, no. Kane took time out to say they always talking about how many dudes put other people on other artists on. Right. He made sure that people understood if it wasn't for Roxanne Shante putting on other members of the Juice Crew, including himself. They would not have been mm. where they were. You see what I'm saying? So that alone, because we always we everyone highlights, yo, so and so brought this person on, so and so signed this person, and it normally tends towards the men bringing on other people, either other right. men or, or women as well. Kane made sure that history knew the track record and mm. said, yo, like, nah, if it wasn't for Shantae, I wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be here. Have you um have you seen her documentary on mm-hmm. Netflix? On Netflix, yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Um, caught up on shit. Yeah, you know, listen, he out here. Yeah. He didn't even ask me. He just looked at you and asked the question. <laughs> Roxanne, yeah, <laughs> I after know you, know. you know, you <laughs> know. Biopic, man. Roxanne, Roxanne. On that hey, thing. so so I was uh I was catching up on my on the last three episodes from last season of Wu Tang. You know, I watched them. I wanted to start those. Over. Wait, we done? We done with verses already? No, not at all. Okay, go. Cool. It made me think of that because remember the scene where um where Genius walks in and he's like, "Yo, was that Roxanne Shante? Yeah. And Big Daddy Kane? Yep. Where's this from? From Wu Tang. 
the it's series. The Hulu, the Hulu series. Oh, yeah, I watched a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay. But no, I, I remember the part you talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love how it opened. I love Fat Joe coming out. I, got, I, I love that opening. I love, I, I don't know if it was done on purpose or not. Kane coming out late? Probably not. But I, I love when, when KRS goes. KRS started it. Let's he see. ain't late. He's scared. <laughs> drop yo, drop that, yo, drop yo, the beat. I was like, yo, go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yo, let's not act like they don't know how to yeah. show and oh, perform bro. and do all of that. You know and what if, I'm saying? If nothing else, bro, excellent showman, bro. They okay, gotcha. That. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Alonda. She said that was at the Karis. Do you know what, M- do you know what MC okay, stands for? Thank you. Um, what does it stand for? Move the crowd. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> my God. I'm going to get these buttons right today. Um, So, to sum it up, you think. I still think Kane won. Kane won. Yeah. But closer than I thought it was. I think Kane won as well, primarily because he's from Brooklyn. No, I mean, I'll do that. <laughs> I mean, I'll do that. And they had to get Karis with the born in Brooklyn, but really, oh, you can leave that part out. No, nah, you ain't got to. Not at all. It, it's very valid. Um, <laughs> Raised in the Bronx. Yeah, just, let's, just, let's just go with that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. put the born in Brooklyn. Shout out fan out. base, people checking in on there as well. Um, but no, the reason why I say that, KRS, like you said, had a lot more energy. But after a while of him letting the crowd finish his bars mm-hmm. on every song, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah those songs are still amazing. They're still amazing. Sorry, Yolanda. They're still amazing. But with him taking breaks and, you know what I'm saying, and Kane just going through, going through. Like, yeah. Karis definitely has, Kane definitely has more memorable bars than Big Daddy Kane across Kane, the career. Yeah. Right? Kane is a punchline king. Bro. Let, right. But KRS and his his diction oh, and the way he announces well. stuff, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, Undeniable. Yeah. So that's why I thought KRS was going to win yeah. in, in initially. Right. But like I said, the consistency of Big Daddy yeah. Kane and the overall performance-wise. It was definitely one of those, if we sit in this room and we just playing records off the, off, off the, uh, off the Serato, mm. then like KRS, I, I feel like would have probably like, would have got it. Yeah. But like when it's that, what, what Versus is now, which is the performance. Everything. Yeah, it's like, not just a performance. Don't do that. Like, Don't do no, that. I'm saying which is the performance. Yeah, that's what that's what versus is. It's it's the performance now. Yeah, like you can you can have an illa records, but that performance is everything. Yeah, and like Kane's performance was just like, I, bro. And I don't mean like he's just in great shape of performing, bro. Yeah. Like, Final score. What you what you say? What you say? Um, it was closer to that 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 nine that nine eleven. Eleven nine. Yeah, it was, it was it was closer to that. Okay. okay. All right. Um, moving on. Well, I was just gonna say that everything else that was associated with that versus. What do y'all think? No, I liked it, man. Yeah, Yolanda, that's just, what we say. Yolanda, you was there in the building. I saw your picture. You was there, right? Let me know in the comments. Uh, shout out Londy dot zero zero. That's a fam right there. Um, I think you was there in the building, so I definitely want to hear your, your your feedback. Um, but no, that's exactly what I'm saying. KRS when he when he was rapping and performing, uh huh, he relied on his impact so much. It got kind of, yeah. after the fifth or sixth song of him got letting it, the yeah. crowd finish your bars. Putting the mic in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? It was like. like all right, nigga, we got it. Yeah, we like, know. They we know, know your records. I know your, I know your records, too. You're but hip-hop royalty, bro. I want to hear you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Can't even see you, my boy. I don't want to perform this. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> you know, when when Step Into a World came, came on, though. Yeah. Yeah. That was a moment yeah, right man. there. That was, was one like, moment. And, and, I'm, and I knew he was going to do that record. But just showing the. Longevity. Longevity. Court, 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 you, you're familiar with Step Into a World, right? Yeah. KRS One record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I had yeah. to sing it off. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but that. you know what he's talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, is, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's one of the ones that I think um, reaches through different generations. Yeah, that's one of his joints. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that bridges over the way the baseline yeah, comes yeah, on. Yeah. There's certain ones that Karis certain has that, was, that are going to ring off for the next right. 30, Ever. 40 years. Forever, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Moment. Right. yeah they're, they're, those, those, those records are, are infinite. Those, those right. records won't go anywhere ever. Right. Like, right. They're just not going anywhere. Right. Yeah. They're just not. Like, you can't say hip-hop and not. Like, those records are going to be there. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Those, All right, those are the ones you call classics. Wow, yes. Well, on versus. Yes. Yes, indeed. Is there a difference between a classic and a hit? Big time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. A hit is five minutes. A hit is 30 seconds. Ask a little Nas X. All right, um, hey, yo, wait a minute. <laughs> minute. You want to transition there? We going there? No, no, no. We ain't going there. We ain't going there. We ain't going there, you said. <laughs> what, I, what, I, what we are going to is uh, Buster. We going to it, so I said we, we Yeah, we're we still reverse for a minute. All right, so, get my man this, is one, this is one of the spin-offs, <laughs> the spin-off <laughs> conversations I've been seeing since damn Tuesday, and I'm tired of seeing y'all. Listen, man, let me, let me just say this. Which, camera, which camera are you on, Joe? We on that camera. Okay. America. And when I say America, I mean 
people I actually like. <laughs> when we go, <laughs> black folks. <laughs> No, I like a lot of other people too. Don't do that. Um, but primarily, so <laughs> <laughs> we rooting for everybody black. Yes, <laughs> listen. While they told y'all, listen. Did he start that? Was that his line? That was in the song. I don't know who's the first one to ever say that. I don't think so. I don't think def- so. Okay. It's definitely in the song. Though. Okay. All right. All right. No. I, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what I'm saying is, listen. When we had these conversations online, and mm-hmm. I'm talking to y'all amongst y'all groups and things like that, I don't like it when y'all just reiterate what everyone else is saying. So the underlying thing has been who should bust the rhymes go against in the verses? And I'm seeing way too many of the same reply. LL Cool J, no disrespect. And, yo, there's nobody Buster can go against um, that can really challenge him. And I'm like, so out of all these em- – look at Joe. Out of all of these MCs, artists, rappers, and we understand the greatness of Buster Rhymes. Thank you. You're trying to say that he's going to kill – oh, no, that was the other one. It's been LL – Oh, nobody can beat Buster and Missy. Those have been the three responses. See? Yeah, right on cue. I actually would like Missy and Buster, but go ahead. He's smoking Eminem. I saw Eminem in, in towards the yeah, – yeah. if he had a bar graph, Eminem. it was like LL, Missy, Eminem. Yeah, Eminem was – nobody wants to see Eminem do anything. So let, let, let's let's think about it for Especially a second. We got to come back to the Scratch and Kid part two. We get back to that in a second phase. Um, my – Suggestion, and I want to know what y'all think. Buster versus, damn, I need a drum line. <laughs> Field. Yeah, Lil Wayne. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. But, but I don't like that as much as I like T.I. and Wayne. Can you stay focused for a minute? No, no. I, We're talking no, about Buster. I'm talking about Buster. I, I like it, but I, I, w- I don't want to see that because I think he's going to smoke. He's, I think he's going to smoke T.I. Buster. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think of Buster versus Lil Wayne? Uh, I think you'll smoke Lil Wayne. Me smoke. personally. Fifteen five? Nah, fifteen. I didn't say disrespect. That, <laughs> Hold on. Yo, bro. we got to come up with a scale. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone see, <laughs> see me <laughs> over like, excuse me. Yo, because you giving Lil Wayne five? Yeah, like, no. I said that. smoke. All right, all right. So, all right. My, I said smoke. I why overstepped. Why you say that though? I, I, I overstepped. Because I'm thinking about longevity, number one. You know, Wayne has been doing it. When I started actually paying attention to Wayne was the Carter Two. Not saying what he did before that was great, because mm-hmm. it wasn't. But the Carter Two was when I really started yeah, paying attention to you. Wayne. Yeah, man, that's fine. And I could validate what I'm talking about. Yo, he said um, the Carter One was trash. It, was, now, it wasn't trash. It just wasn't the Carter Two. There was a big transition from Wayne's talent and what he presented from the Carter One and previous from the Carter Two on. Am I wrong? Yes. But go ahead. Why am I wrong? Court. Hey, he said he hasn't progressed from the Carter 2? No, no, no. I'm saying there's a difference. After the Carter 1, mm-hmm. the freestyles with drama, and then dropping the Carter 2, did you not see an uptick in Wayne's performance? The court just got super offended when you said that shit. You said it. That would have <laughs> Uptick, it, uptick is, a, is, 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 a, is a positive. Yes. Yes. Definitely. He improved. He did. Definitely. He got better. But, no ceilings. All but, but, would you nice. say that? You said the Carter's are trash, though. That's yo, the part that's throwing yo, me listen, off. Listen, we're trying to have a real conversation right now, man. You over here ATL trying to scoop shit. Yo, relax, man. Ooh, listen, man. We'll see what you did. Come on. <laughs> it's coming. Wait till we get there. <laughs> Wait till we get there. Nah, but um, uh, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind Lil Wayne. That's all right. Like I said, the, the, the match I wanted to see. The reason why I don't want Lil Wayne is because the match I want is him and him and the lights can do from the you think so? You don't want to see this. See, 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 see y'all gotta peep. Y'all gotta read in between the lines of what Will is actually saying right oh. now. Wait, I'm a, yo, why, 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 why? He said, yo, if Buster was, verse, Buster versus the Wayne has to be records they came out with since Wayne. Came. What? Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah, nah. Whole catalog. <laughs> but the thing and is, I considered that. But it could be that because, like, it could, Wayne, but no. Because I can say Lil Wayne been out since the Hot Boys was popping. That was the late 90s. Of course, of course it was. Of course it was. So I could, I could, I could, Buster could still compete with. Like, that shit ain't going to be easy. We're not putting the cuffs on Buster. Yeah, that's not We're not putting the cuffs on Buster at all. So, um, what was I about to say? Yo, Court said Lil Wayne don't smoke Buster. Like, this is what, no, 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 we're not 17, slick. 17-3. We're not that's slick. The reason face? why, the that's reason. 2010? Go ahead, Court. I'm done. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Court. <laughs> I don't want to say nothing else. I said 2010 and on, that's it. Yeah. Everything else, I'm saving. Wait, wait, I mean, all right. Let, wanna, me, let me put it this you way. You want to hit a block, is that? I feel like Buster was an error, man. Ooh. It was an error. That's it. Ooh. Let me pull up the discography. So good. Discography. At a certain Why? point, with okay. artists, you either mainstream, then you go, then you, then you more, more, more or less attentive to your fans. I feel like Ooh. Lil Wayne's been mainstream for a minute, a long time, and Buster been at a point in his career where it's really just been. 
him and his fans. Mm. When last thing you heard from Buster? Mm. Last year? What are you talking about? Mm. You a fan? Mm. Fan. Elite to uh, fan versus what? The streets? Fan versus mainstream. We ain't, oh, we ain't seen you. Buster on mainstream. Not on no radio play. He ain't had no club banger. Mm. He ain't had no top album. What have we heard from from Buster? Tell him court. Yeah, Lee put out some numbers, y'all. Let me just put it that way. Tell them, that's, Court. That's numbers, but we we talking. You just said numbers in mainstream. Numbers is yeah, mainstream. We, okay, all right. So what's all right? Go ahead. Go ahead. What the no, go no, ahead. no. I'm listening to you because Bust ain't eating until she cry. Corn and wine and dine. <laughs> he ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not saying that. Busta, no, no, no. Let's just understand. I'm not saying Bust fell no, off. No, no, no. We're not. No, we're not. We're not trying to. No, no, We got you. No. No, we know what you what you saying. But did you hear Ele too? Did you actually hear the quality of the Yo, music? No, he the one. He I said heard. he the one to hear that old nigga rapping, bro. I'm just saying. I heard it was fire. But I'm both from, from Buster fans. You, your assignment for the week. I ain't scrolled down my social media and seen mm. Buster sold 98k. Listen, this listen, week. listen. First week. Listen, if that's what's getting your attention when it comes to hip hop, that's a whole nother issue. If I go to Spotify right now and I say the top 20 is hottest songs right now, I don't think none of that's coming from Buster album. Came out last year, son. Mm. That damn top twenty list changes every five minutes. Mm. You could okay, drop so a song right year, now. Last year, the last year, Buster had a top twenty song. Yeah, in the album. yeah. Last year, when his album dropped, yes. Look it up. This is your homework for the week. I got you. Listen to Ele Two and let me hear what you got to say. Ele Two is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. That that's I just yeah, that's I, all I'm saying. I, I ain't gonna say. Listen it. to it. it, it go ahead. I'm sorry. Let me cut. No, 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 no. It's also all good. <laughs> Come on, this is disrespectful. It is. But that's what I'm saying. The fans, Listen man. to it. You <laughs> can't. Ass how can you say that if you haven't listened to it? It's like if I would have came in here and said the same thing about the Wayne and Richard Kid um, project that dropped two weeks ago, right? I would have said, like, yo, that's going to be garbage without even listening to it. It was. You didn't like it? I, I liked hear, it. I ain't heard too much from it. But hey, let's teach you got Did you listen to it? Yo, listen to it again. One, two, three, two, three. This is this is my point. Yo, you know what? And this is going to transition to something, that, transition to something yeah, else. I actually think, Court, I think you would like that album. I ain't going to lie. I'm saying this shit, you know. I I, I'm, I like Buster Ooh, shit too. And Will ain't that super old. Yeah, I'm, and I am definitely super old. <laughs> but like, nah, I, I think you would like to rich the kid. And, and, but you like Meek, and that shit is eh, mid. Can we get? Oh, I'm glad I'm here because y'all didn't talk about this last Thursday. Uh, sure, certainly did. We did talk about it. Buster, man, I'm good. No, we're gonna get to that in one second because we wanted your fear. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's we missed you that week. <laughs> we, we missed you that week. Yolanda said, "Go back to lead the new school." See, no, that, that's too much homework. I just want court. Can you listen to it between yeah, the? Yeah, yeah, hold on, no, 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 no. Can you listen to the, his latest music between this week and next week, and then we're gonna revisit this? Yeah. When the last time you played a Buster record in the club? Last week, yo. Buster stays Buster in there. Fan. That's not why, because it works. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, yeah, Those Buster songs still go up. Yeah, what are you talking about? I can still yeah, he, listen. He, he got a few joints out of it. Thank you, thank you. That's spinning. Yeah, they, listen, they work. They, listen they just, I'm not playing the whole song. Yeah. I'm doing my DJ yeah, shit. Playing nobody, but nobody holds on. <laughs> I'm doing my DJ thing, yeah, but I'm playing Buster. Play, play Buster. Yeah, they if they, 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 they know. Said. Listen, I'm different, son. Don't, don't compare me mm, with what I, I do outside. Know, like, don't, come freaky. on. You know, come you know, on. Don't, don't compare me. You might. Listen. Listen. Yo, not. I just seen you cover from 60s to the early 2000s, the past 2010 in one hour, bro. So, that's you different. It don't come like that. Nigga said Knox was marked with Doc. Talking about the hottest joints in the last five years. I don't see Buster being, being played in the club, man. He said Knox is in Selma. Knox will take you to the cotton field. My S is right it on. To, to Hollywood Boulevard. Yo, I like that, man. Yeah. From the cotton field to Hollywood, but I ain't using that. <laughs> don't use it's close. that, please. Hey, listen. Don't use that. Y'all can, can sit at home and act like Hip-hop picks back. Anyway. Now, listen. Oh, <laughs> right that was out right now. That was funny. But no, all right, uh, to wrap that up, just listen to it, and then we, I want you to nah, want to revisit it. Pretty good. He got a good album. All right, so with the, I forget where we was going after that because it's like so many different things y'all brought up. Going, oh, I was about to try Meek. No, let's talk about that while we're on it. Let's okay. talk about it. what is your What is your thoughts on the Meek? Because, you know, in the group chat, you was like, yo. Fire emoji. Yes. What? Flame, 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 flame. So you like, <laughs> so you like the... Uh, so it's been out like three weeks now. How, have you gone back and listened to? Have you? Is it in rotation? Yes. Okay. So, you so like the, the solid songs in rotation. You like the uh, the Dirk album as told by Meek Mill. The Dirk. <laughs> so wow, you say that because yo, that sound like Meek Mill to you? Honestly, let's keep it a buck. <laughs> That's the thing. He even said he sound himself. like Dirk. He had a fun record. Yes. He wanted, like he wanted a fun album. Bro. He sounds like Dirk. Yeah, why you say he sound like Dirk? Uh, that album's mad dirky. 
<laughs> yeah, we almost called the show it last is, week. That's right. It is. It's I know because it's one dirty. song. Anytime nowadays when you no, it's not you one song. That melody type feel. It's not one song, it's not though. Dirty. No, it's not one song, bro. <laughs> it's not one song. But it was Big, mad dirty. Big Ben doing that though. No, he no. hasn't. He Big doubled down ben on this album. Them type records, he's had the, he's had a couple of those records. records. He, he's had them. He ain't had a whole album of them. There was a whole over abundance of it. He, he's, he's had some of those records. Right. He ain't had a whole album. What I told Will was. This was a whole album of them. What, what, what I told Will was. Yeah, like 15 different flows on that album. He, and, and I agree with you. Right. I say this. It wasn't as good as wins and losses. It wasn't as good as championships. But I still enjoyed the album. I still I, hold on, wait, ask him the question first. What? Was it better than wins and losses or championship? <sighs> I'm, a, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> that was Will's point. Well, his other point was. I, I didn't think it was Dookie. I just thought it was just. It wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't Dookie, but it was Dirky. It wasn't. It was very Dirky. Ow, dude. <laughs> yo, them songs. If I, yo, and then There's a lot so, of rappers I, these days. And then, everybody, everybody, everybody. And I hate that. Like that. I, like, that annoys me. Everybody I ain't going to lie to you. It annoys for me. For some reason. Yeah, like, it annoys me because, like. <laughs> I'm not saying I want you to experiment with other shit. I want you to try it, but yeah. I don't want your whole album to just fucking just change direction because this is what's popping now. Yeah. Like if Jay Z came with a whole auto tune album or something like that, people would go like, "Yo, what the fuck is he doing?" R O C. What is he doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and and Meek is, I know he ain't that close, but he's maybe a notch underneath that. Like he's been out long enough to where like, yo, he's a respected dude. Yeah, like, most definitely. Meek is fucking nice, mm -hmm. undeniably. His whole name. Yeah, like he is that guy to yeah, me. Yeah. Like he's he's nice. Yeah. And so when I went to turn it on, I'm listening to it. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's watered down. It's a lot of these. It's watered down. And another thing is he has way too many. But I think records. it's hot. I think it's I think it's dope. And but you know, compared to the music we've been getting lately, I think it's oh, shit. Everything is fucking dope. Everything. <laughs> that other thing is my, uh, my other issue with that is it's too many fucking songs on the album. It's 18 tracks on the album. Yeah, he's, he's you think talking, that's too many? He's talking about giving it an extendo pack too. Oh, we will. That's it. That's, that, that's, a, that's how you double down. And get, that's just a money four. thing. That's a stream thing. I think they do so. that. So at least they, uh, out of eighteen songs, I know four of them going. Go, 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 nah, he got yeah. He got yeah, He got more. Than, they, they trying to hit a chart, man. They trying to hit the mainstreams. Just keep throwing them at the board. Like you a boatload. Yeah, something's gonna pop. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, one yeah. of these is gonna pop. Yeah, somebody make a TikTok <laughs> over this shit. Right. <laughs> somebody <laughs> give me. Definitely. Somebody make a dance to this shit. <laughs> Why hook me up? Me personally, I think it was a Philly. Thing. Don't dance like that. <laughs> I just like me personally. I like albums that can give me. I can come and get in whatever mood that I'm in. I can I can find a song on there that can, okay. I can I can vibe to. Yeah. How many songs? Okay, let me let me ask both y'all this. If a project has twelve songs, how many songs do you need to like for you to call the project a good project? I say four or five solid ones. Five out of twelve? That's not a good ratio. Five. That's less than fifty percent. Like good song. You said good songs. Yeah, you songs hits. you actually like. Yeah, hits. I, uh, no, 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 no. Hits. I'm talking about you personally. That's okay. it. Yeah, five good songs. What about songs you like? Just five. Yeah, kind of. Five out of twelve. All right. I, I'm attributing good to like it. So, like, I don't think nobody like like realistically is playing a whole album. Yeah, you're not getting I made, any singles. I got I made, that. I may play like three, four songs of, of, from the same album in rotation, back to back. I got you. <laughs> Yo, Joe is killing me. It gotta be. It gotta be for me. Talk louder, Joe. I'm the type of guy because I grew up in a household where if you're not going to play so crack. Album, you're not playing it at all. So yeah. Like, you might have your your songs that you mess with, like uh -huh. the top two or three, but one through whatever, whatever story you're trying to tell, I need to relate because when I put it on, I'm not in the shit. Mm. I want to hear the whole thing. Mm. So how many is, what's the number for you then out of 12? How many you need? Sure. No, no, you're talking about a classic so you thing. Like that I like. that oh, you would okay. say is like, yo, I'm satisfied with this album. Yeah. Thank you. Seven's reasonable. That's where I'm at. Like three or Seven? four. Three or four is a throwaway album to me, son. Three or four. I'm, I'm gonna let those rock. Three Seven. or four is Seven. a throwaway. So I ain't said it. All right. So, so cool. it don't gotta be seven hits. That's <laughs> not what I'm saying. New niggas. <laughs> it's not, it's not, <laughs> seven songs. It's, it's not gonna be. It, it's not gonna be seven hits. I'm not looking for that. Right. I'm just saying seven records that I actually like. Like I like these records. Mm. Like to me, that's a good album. Yeah. Seven out of twelve. Yeah. First of all, I don't need twelve records, but that's fine. You do need 12 records. That's we fine. need 12, 12 records. Fine. You don't need 12 records. I need 10. Because 12 that's out of fine. 7, I mean, 7 out of 12, that's what? Uh, that's reasonable. That's 5. Do a math? That's was, over the, it's like 58%. I was told there would be no math. <laughs> not this, this, I'm not saying. <laughs> Listen, man, we outside, man. You got to show them math nah, is man, cool. I'm, I'm not mad at that. My math be math, and you just got to understand. So, so, speaking of math. Speaking of math, I don't know where you're going On with the 20th. <laughs> <laughs> how how do you celebrate the 20th? 20th of? This past month. October? Yeah. 
I don't know. Help me out. Where are we going? It was it was Little Nas. X. That is not how I celebrate. <laughs> you, didn't celebrate you didn't celebrate Little Nas X. No, let me stop playing. Let, let's hear about this because we we ran out of town. We still got to talk about school marketing schemes. Yeah, you heard about this? Yeah. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I I don't. <laughs> Yo, the, the, anyway. the level of disappointment that came over his voice just now. Was <laughs> I like, didn't know that's where you was going with that. Yeah. No, catch people up to what you're talking about. Africa nine out of twelve. See, eight out of twelve. I can respect that face. Thank you, Africa. They said 80, 80, 89 out of twelve. Seven out of twelve is the lowest I can go. I can't give you fifty percent. Nine anyway. out of twelve. Yeah, come on, that's a that's a stellar Damn, album. Damn, that's yeah. unbelievable. Album. Yeah, you want me to divide again for that nah, too? That's good. Um, <laughs> get these more basically, that little Nas X keeps tough. on keeps on winning. I gotta get nine, seven, that's songs not even a seven that's good yes. out of my album. God. I'm sorry. We talking about little Nas X now. Well, you're talking. Anyway, What's favorite rapper? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey yo, oh, please shoot, <laughs> shoot me now. Oh wow. <laughs> he just oh, keeps. It, it, says, it says that little Nas X just keeps on winning. While just, celebrating his debut album, Montero, <laughs> in his hometown of Atlanta. Oh, is he from here? He was presented with the... Yeah. Uh, uh, I thought he's from the Midwest. I'm sorry, go ahead. Finish your point. I'm sorry. Go Damn, ahead. I'm not reading. No, that's not, we don't, was, want to, we don't he, make you repeat. Go ahead. I'm sorry. He was presented <laughs> with the boarded proclamation from Atlanta Councilman Antonio Brown, naming October 20th officially Little Nas Antonio X Day. Brown. What did he do to earn that? Because normally there's some kind of event or the gay back. Probably took him down the old the, town road. The councilman is a gay man himself. Yo, and yo, is, is part of the LGBT community. Is he? Hopefully, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. He was about to save you. Yeah, listen. <laughs> yeah, that's I a thought, good dude, bro. That was, that was, he was, that was known. That was, back, he was right, about right? to shoot, and he was getting in front of the bullet for you. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, he's yeah, he's like I've met Antonio several times. He identifies yeah. himself as part of the LGBT. Oh, good fan. Okay, cool. Community. Hey, don't don't leave anything out. So you thinking that's the only thing? <laughs> it's a plus. Um, you say you're saying that's the main reason why he I, gave but it. But they said that the the ner- the headline was basically. Lil Nas topping charts as a LGBTQ community member. I don't like the term. And it was kind of like a, okay, I'm doing my thing as an LGBT community member, and you're doing your Get thing, out. so I'm going to honor you. That's exactly how the, the headline was. They should use they should use topic. Lil Nas X is t- chopping charts and and having hit songs as an LG and he, as Lil Nas is topping. LGBT, so wait, wait, wait. Because he no. really ain't did nothing for the city as far as nothing political. What that's mean? what I was gonna ask. That's what I was gonna ask. Like, what, what has he done? That that's exactly what I'm asking them. Normally, like I said, they gave Kanye um, his own day in Atlanta because of in him Atlanta giving really? back. Yeah, um, I know that. he. I forget what the actual event was, and I don't want to misquote it. Okay, but going back to the post that you just read, what was the reasoning? Why is he? Is just like a culture really forward thing? So they don't really give a reason. Oh, they don't really give a reason. Okay, they really they're looking out for their people, man. They ain't respect them. Listen, uh, you want me to? All right, all right. I, I'll dig deep and I'll, I'll. You want me to read the article to you? No, I do not. I said, no, I really don't want to care. Queen <laughs> Public Schools. We do not want you to read it. Whoa! Anymore. All right. <laughs> I, was, I, I was told I speak well for a black. <laughs> what did old Harold say to you after that? <laughs> Go get my oh. car. <laughs> oh. I don't think anybody really acknowledged it. I'm what? not trying to be disrespectful. Go ahead. He about to be so disrespectful. To Respectfully. Go ahead. Yeah. Kill him. <laughs> Me personally, it seemed like a personal move, not a majority move. Well, obviously. Well, he's a politician. Yeah, they're all personal moves when you're a politician. Yo, you know, honestly, yo, I've talked to um Antonio before, and I, I like a lot of his ideas and plans that he has for Oh, do you? as a city council member. I really do. Like, yo, he has some really good ideas. You know what I'm saying? So um, I didn't I'm know. I'm it doesn't ideas. change anything. Um, Anything but, that helps our community, bro, I'm with it. Yeah. I, that, and that's not no no yeah. BS or nothing. No, nah, like that's that, dead but. ass. Like I think yeah, until I find somebody that's, really that's willing to make their main focus on fixing these potholes, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's agenda you need to dress. Hey, not one politician came in Atlanta <laughs> and fixed that. Yo, yo Keisha was on that. Well, Keisha my was boat on that. Some potholes. Yeah, Are you it. you live in the city of Atlanta? I have. No. <laughs> of course, I'm can you win. vote so right now for the city of Atlanta mayor when it happens next? Okay, that's what I was asking. <laughs> nigga, I can't vote for the president. <laughs> right. I just came home, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. Y'all are retarded, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit, man. Shout out to Little Nas X, though, man. I'm just trying to find more voters in the city. I mean, but yeah, that, somebody just said that. They're giving, giving days away. Honestly, I don't yeah. feel like that account. That is that, they are. That holds too much weight it's nowadays. It's like. a national everything day, bro. Yeah. First of all. National but it's birthday. different. Well, it's supposed to be different when it comes like to the city the street. Council. Anybody can do that. I'll tell you what's next, though. Well. Hip hop gets back there. Well, it's, now you done gonna be dope. you done kick dirt on it now. Say that. <laughs> What's good, G? Aquaman, let's go. See that one's gonna matter to me. JP, like, checked in. The rest of these shits is eh. What happened? Let's get active. 
Oh, no, he I'm not gonna he ain't working now. Listen, fam, we can't I'm, celebrate I'm, that. Though. I'm inch. If y'all haven't noticed, I am inching my way out of the DJ door. Nah, nah, not even that. Like, yo, for real. Like, y'all know. Listen, Uh-oh. I keep telling y'all. Well, I don't keep telling y'all. I mentioned it in certain conversations. Like, my days of DJing on a regular basis are coming closely to an end. Days numbered. Yeah, they are right. definitely numbered. So but that's another conversation for another time. Talk to me about this. Uh, this brand loyalty. Bring your ass outside, goddammit. it. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You saying it outside? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know? Come on. You're safe wherever I'm at, Joe. That's all you got. Cool. That was pretty good. That's perfect. Right on time. <laughs> Yo, it's Sunday. BQE every Sunday night, man. Come on, man. Come through. Mm-hmm. Holiday. Yo, course, I'll be there. Uh, October 31st. I sure do. I'm Halloween. We out there. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come out and smoke a cigar, October 30th, that's Saturday. I'm at Burn Lounge in Marietta. Listen, out there by your Braves. They'll probably be out of the course, series yeah, by yeah, then. But yeah, come on. Get that. Come on. At the like battery. That, like, come on. At the battery, October like 30th. Well, let's go there. Come on, son. Let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Battery, Saturday, top battery 30. ain't paying yeah. us. I was about to give him a mean promo, but I'm going to leave it at a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's yeah. not. Yeah. We'll deal with that later. All right, so so anyway. um, Brand loyalty. Is that where we at? Let's go. Oh, you done with it? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so. I've been having a personal issue. I'm not the only one. Mm. So what I wanted to bring to the forefront. No, nah, it's already at the forefront. Mm. If you really the table and attention table, what I wanted to bring and get this you guys is, perspective. This is clear on. table talk. Yeah. Clear table. T- that's a bar. <laughs> might, might be the show title. <laughs> clear table. You had a couple others. Anyway. So go. What I wanted to talk about. And I don't. Y'all know me. I try to focus on the positive side. But anyway, to get to the point. I have a huge issue mm. with us doing damage to us. Ooh. I have a, I have an issue with us helping other entities prosper and using us at the same time to do that prospering. An entity I'm talking about in particular today, because it's more than one, is ATL Scoop. Mm. Will, you said you're not familiar with ATL Scoop. Not at all. Court, you are. Joe, are you familiar with ATL Scoop? Okay. I'm about to argue with you. That, that, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Because you know. <laughs> Put your gloves on. <laughs> dope, dope, double on barrel down. out here. You know what I'm saying? Listen. All right, so let's get to it. Let me let me let me make let me give a little back history because I'm not sure when you became familiar with them. When ATL Scoop first started their Instagram account, they came into popularity by doing a couple things. Number one, and the most gl- um um glaring one was using black pain and black trauma to gain views and followers. This is not my perspective. This is not my opinion. This is what happened. Anytime um, people, there was a crime committed in Buckhead or Midtown or Atlanta, and it was done by black people, it was on their page. It was their focus. It was their retweets. It was their reposts and more. They started gaining momentum after that. So they doubled down and tripled down and quadrupled down on it. So if you scroll, unless they've recently deleted it, if you scroll to the beginning of ATL Scoop and when they had no followers, all you will see is black trauma, black trauma, black trauma, black trauma, black trauma. And I caught it back then. So I was like, eh, I saw the numbers grow. And I saw the BSA was on back then. But you know me, I'm not going to focus on anyone else when we have so much positive things to focus on. Right. But we're at the point now where I'm seeing – and have been seeing other recognizable names and people that I respect tagging ATL Scoop in this trauma. Now, they've since tried to clean it up and say, oh, we're giving back here and we're highlighting missing children here, which is all great, but that is not how they prospered. They prospered on our back. They prospered off of our pain, and they make no bones about it. They've even gone on now to start selling merchandise highlighting ATL Scoop when in fact, everything that they've done has been a detriment to our community. So it bothers me to the utmost level when we have our own people tagging them and shit. Yo, ATL Scoop, you see this? Yo, this is what they doing now. The police had another police chase chasing more black people. And this is what we're help- We're doing their job for them. Okay. And this is what I meant about brand loyalty. When do we stop saying, yo, I want to be about the cool, be a part of what's cool and be a part of what's doing numbers and just say, like, yo, what are, what are you doing right now? So that's my main issue with ATL School. Never mind the fact that it's, not, it's run by people that are not of our color, not of our melanin. 
and they're using it. They're using us to prosper, and we just keep on helping it and feeding into it and watching the numbers get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I just like, yo, this shit got to stop. Why are we helping them make us feel worse? I understand the excitement uh, and, uh, and the fear mongering of what happens and what takes place. It, it's in the shock value. I get that. But no, it's beyond too much. There have been several other people in our community who have highlighted it and been blocked by ATL School. Shout out King Williams. Me? No, your last oh. name is not Williams. Oh. First name is. <laughs> Shout out, I mean, I am King Williams on Instagram. Did a whole breakdown. One of the most respected, I don't even want to call him a personality. Just one of the most respected people in Atlanta when it comes to um, caring about the city, caring about the community, caring about the culture. He did an entire breakdown on his Instagram about ATF Scoop, and they since blocked him. This yeah. is months ago. So they know what they're doing. I DM some people that are close to me and said, yo, do not work with them because this is how they prosper. They target us. They use us. And then own no responsibility to it after that. Court, push back. It's not – well, go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't want to keep that. Go ahead. Or, or if I could, before you, before you push back, is – I guess not went in a little bit different direction than you probably thought that was going to head. Yeah, I know. It's a little, 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 so I'm here. A little, little bit deeper that, than that. That's why I was like. Oh, thanks. I have some. Uh, a little bit deeper than that. Uh, but from your perspective, is, is it more of like, I don't see it that as being that fucking serious. I think they just informed what's really going on in the city. And really? To be honest. Uh-huh. Go ahead. It's the brothers that's, that's wrecking, that's, that's wilding out. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that they're the only people that's doing it. And I, but I've seen reports of it, it, it being a wide range of things. Like, they put up their the, the job opportunities in Metro Atlanta, and there's a million comments of people offering jobs that, that have helped people seek jobs. There's been other reports of missing people that's been up there. Car accidents. You can you can find out what's going on in your, your normal route to work on ATL Scoop before you can go on a news channel and find out. You know what I'm saying? Because first thing they do is – Oh, it was an accident on 285, so I already know I got to make the different route because it's already been posted. A lot of times, I just see it be more just regular general stuff that goes on in the city, which is accidents, shootouts, and, and, and car break-ins. Those are things. That's the scoop. You know, that's I feel like, to be honest, you're not going you – can, you can watch the Fox 5 News and get the regular murders and all of those we things. We watch the Fox 5. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you're going to be missing for it every time. That's the, I feel like that's definitely the – if you want to go into that. Right. Yeah, I feel like that Fox Five is definitely going to do it that way. But ATL Scoop, I feel like honestly, is just reporting the news that's going on, and and the the, the frequency of what they're they're posting may be a little more exaggerated. But honestly, I feel like people want to be informed of what's going on in your area or wherever what's going on in your county or, or whatever. But it's not necessarily always a negative connotation with certain things. It may be, you know. More of it because that's just the reality of it, man. It's wild car break-ins, it's wild shootouts, there's things going on left and right. But how are we supposed to know? Where else are we gonna go? I feel like that's a good. It's a good outlet to get the news on what's really going on. And it's different things. There's a whole lot of other things, events, different people, you know, messages that they put out. They they not just necessarily to me personally. For what I've seen, I haven't seen them from the start, so I'm not gonna discredit knots. Mm -hmm. But for what I've seen from the time I've been tapped in, it's been really just general news. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's that's kind of my well. Okay. I, it's it's I have a, a secondary question, but first of all, that's where they've reached to the point now. They have their numbers, so they can bring in other options now and make it look like, oh, we're just here for everybody. You're not. So what, not. what? What? So how would you say what? What? What's, what's necessarily that's on there that you can say that, that makes them seem like they're targeting the black community to make them look bad? You get what I'm saying? Look at what they choose to highlight. What you choose to highlight is what defines you. And I know that from doing Hip Hop Gives Back. We choose to highlight the positive side of it, right? Because there's plenty of the sites, um, pages, accounts that focus on the negative. So we chose a long time ago to balance it out and say, you know, we're going to show what's really going on so and what, highlight the positive uh, side of it. So my issue from that part is they came into notoriety and popularity from focusing on the negative. Focusing on any time there was a shootout. And we already get enough negative attention from mainstream news. We don't need something saying, hey, this is what's going on in Atlanta, and this is what all that's going on in Atlanta is negative. 
Right. I always put it, it's not all negative though. But that's what they change. This is what I'm saying. So let me let me do it numbers wise. So they, if they're changing, does that mean that they're, they're they're changing in the right direction or they're changing in the wrong? direction? It doesn't matter because they got to this Are point. They, con- they got to this point by using us to get to this point. You know what I'm saying? It's not to the point where like saying, oh, we're gonna make up for what we did in the beginning to get to this point. No, you're still balancing it out with negative with a little bit of positive. Because I guarantee you most of their posts now is still gonna be what's my favorite number? Eighty twenty. Is it only black crime that they were posting? It's a majority. And they became the popularity from us by reporting on black crime. And that's what we have to pay attention to. And that's why we can't, well, I shouldn't say we. That's why I choose not to support channels like that. I can't I tell anybody what I to do. I just think that the certain channels, they, they, they gravitate to what their channel is for. I mean, we have black empowerment pages. Mm-hmm. Right. You have pages that empower people that's black people in medical fields, black people in this industry, black people right. in this industry. It's Facebook something for everybody. It's something for all of those things to directly give you that certain, that particular narrative. Their narrative is to put out news. You get what I'm saying? Not negative news. And if it's we, negative to news, be honest, To be honest, not, not, that's, that, that's been a problem. Like, car break-ins has been a problem. Right. So, to be honest, I would like to know, you know what, what know. area is ha- has the highest br- car break-ins. Because now I know if I go to... MLK, I'm not going to that gas station. Edgewood. I done heard, I done heard 17 break-ins on that. So you trying to tell? Wait, you trying to tell way. me you didn't know that before a page like ATL Scoop that this was a bad area? Not necessarily in your specific sp- spots and different specific areas. Certain clubs, certain people that that's, that's involved in different things as far as just the, the crime rate in different parts of the town, like things <laughs> that you need to know. It's, it's informational stuff. It may not All be right. positive. But it's, it's they have they, they, they don't have, have to that. Be, it doesn't have they to be have positive. That, though. I'm not it's saying not, it has not, to be. Now, a, if I went down a page only seeing. A brother getting locked up or it's a police shootout, that's all I see? That's what they were doing for their first six to eight months of existence, bro. This is what I'm telling you. They're not doing it now. It's more of a widespread thing because they're at, what, half a million followers or something like that? I don't even know because I don't go on those pages like that. But they to get to that point, they said, no, we need to focus on this and focus on the negative, and we're going to focus on this particular population um, so and I, show and highlight that. If I wanted to find an outlet on Instagram or on a social media to where I can know what's going on around my local town, as far as I want to know from everything from the crime to the the, the events to who who's who, who who's the community leaders, all of these things. Where do I go? It depends on what you want to look for. I've just told you. If you're looking for those particular things, like I said, I'm not the person to answer that. Because you know me, I but follow you need my an people. outlet for that, though. No, no, I don't. I know where to get this information from. I'm not looking for Instagram to do that for me. That's what I'm saying. No, not, uh, no Instagram. No, we're not saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram, because you have different pages that, get, that have different informational things. I feel like LTL Scoop, and this is not, and, that's, and I'm not going to say this to people so people understand it. I'm not ever supporting. Oh, no, I'm not saying that. Really look no, bad no, no, or nothing like what, that. We you got know what, what you're saying? saying. When I want information on what's going on in Atlanta, I go to ATL Scoop. I got you. Yeah. So my, my question would be like, um, I guess to to you not like what what, what um, is there ever a point when when somebody uh, like court is is I'm, I don't want words when they about. can you change said, around when they can change around do you do you ever like is is there a way to to turn the corner and do something different is there a way yeah stop posting negative shit so what about World Star they in they in it too. Media takeout, the shade room. How many times yeah, you send me something no, from the shade? Nah, nah, How many times like, you send me from the shade nah, room? Shade room like, I'm not even nah, clicking on room, it. Shade room, big time. I feel like the shade room does does have or to your motives, but that, that's ATL Scoop does as well. Worse, I feel like bro. ATL Scoop is reporting the news. No. Man. That's what's going on. Once again, homework part two, and this is for everybody out there. Because it's a Go positive back. and it's negative. No, on. no, no. That's what is going on now because you guys are already following these pages. Go back to ATL Scoop. When they started, or as far back as you can scroll, and look at their history, look at what they came from, look at how they came into popularity, and tell me if you feel the same way. If you see them using us to gain attention, and you don't feel a way, that's fine. That's on you. Or whoever else I'm talking to, I'm not directing that just at you. But I know how I feel about that. You're not using me so, to so make we, money. So we right. judge them as far as what they're doing now, or we judge them for what they started off doing? I judge them because I know what they are at their core. Because they show me what they are at their core. So what about? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me. No, I was. I, I I just go back to what I was saying. Like you show me as you are as your core. Like so, there's no room for change, or or like, or is it just that? What what has been done is so egregious that it's unforgivable. The point I'm I'm trying to say about this is, they don't care about us. They really don't care about the city. Uh, so whatever move. Let, let me let me finish. They don't care about us. They don't care about the city. 
they're looking at this for their own personal interests and they're willing to use black people in our community to get where they need to go. That's how the best way I could respond to that. So what would you like to see from ATL Scoop that would give that would make them a credible site for somebody to go to? I want that shit, I want that shit gone. I'm not even joking. I want that shit, it's not going anywhere, but I would like it gone because I know the damage that it's doing. Because when I see certain people that I know who have influence so and they're tagging them in it. You, you are a DJ, so you kind of in, 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 in the field. You know what's going on. So when you say, I know what's going on in the city. What about with a person that just sits at home, that, that works in a regular 9 to 5 job, yep. and, and don't know what's going on around their local town or their city? Mm -hmm. How would they find out this information? But exactly my point, though. All they're finding out is negative stuff, right? No, is, that that's accurate, not true. is that an accurate representation that's of not what they're they're not always, There's not all negative stuff on there, though. Where's no, my not, phone? Now, at the, let me, I'm, let me I'm show telling you, you let literally, me, let me literally. Show, let me show you something. Hold on. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this, and then we can go on to something. Ah, shit, we got to go. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's do this real quick. All right. Um, like I said, I don't follow them. They, should. they may be blocking me after this, which is fine. Um, <laughs> oh, they paid this private now. Oh, no, I click on the wrong one. I click on the wrong one. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you know I'm you know I'm old because I don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> like they promoting black businesses on here like restaurants we don't even know about. Fam, I think they blocked me. <laughs> in on them. Listen, listen, it may <laughs> just happen. And I didn't I haven't even made um pages or posts about them. That's the funny part. Now they, they heard you, my nigga. Yeah, heard you. I appreciate that. What what's their last four or five posts about? That is hilarious. I didn't even realize that. Can it come is it coming off of you? Yeah, I'm not a, <laughs> I, I'm not a hater. I didn't made it. <laughs> they just put up a post about how the city council approved new homeless funding package. So Keep going. Them known. Keep going. Uh, they just said for, they talked about how their the Atlanta City Council is talking about testing a summer long idea. The, the 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 they're talking about the testing of the summer long idea of installing barriers on blocks of Edgewood, mm -hmm. and a lot of people under there that lived in the area was giving input. Mm -hmm. Now, to be honest, like okay, I'm, I'm gonna go back to car breaking like. Until people started posting on ATL Scoop and they seen the, the frequency and the, and the, and the, the how Re much it was occurring, yeah, the police departments wasn't 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 making it a focal point. You crediting ATL Scoop with that? To be honest, no. Because the, <laughs> to be honest, yes, that's how a lot. Yo, of, fam, they've been that's talking. How I know that it's happening a lot, a lot more than what I thought it was. It's okay, that may be that may be more of when daily. you when you became more aware of it may have been from certain sites. They have been talking about the increase in crime in the city of Atlanta for at least 18 months now. They have numbers dating back to last year saying, hey, it is, it is increased, and I'm just using, I don't know what the latest numbers are. Crime has increased in the city of Atlanta at least 12%. Well, there's not always a black person with that crime, though, not. This is what I'm saying. How did they get to the part of influence that they're at now? Oh, it's like it's like, so the, it's saying, like the United States. They should be wiped out because they came up off of our, our, not, uh, our issues. Sounds familiar, don't it? Kind of reminds they, me of slavery. But I'm just saying. Okay, this, this, I, got, I got you. That's why. I'm, all right, I understand. Okay. Well, all I'm, right. I'm just not. I'm just not rewarding um a, 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 um a page like that from gaining off of us and not putting anything back. And now they're trying to wash their hands and look clean. And once again, they're not the only media site that has done this in the past. Um, that's a topic for another show. But I just wanted to talk about them because we're showing loyalty to a brand, and they are an official brand now that does not give a shit about us at their core. That's it. Well, all right. Yeah, my bad. Bring back no slavery. Yeah. That is what you got from that? <laughs> Don't exploit black people. Man. Listen, man. I'm with that. Listen, black man. exploitation films. Listen, I tell you what. Are if they, making a comeback. If they hadn't blocked me before today, and it looks like they yeah. have. I they might be blocked now because of your bullshit. <laughs> I was about to go in and get the scoop. Were you? No. <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, that shit wasn't in danger of happening. Because the thing about it is, when I say certain things like that, and I'm very conscious of this, and then we get the hell out of after. Yeah, hey, you a hater? Yeah, I'm, I could, I hate what people when people hate us, and I guarantee you. I don't know if you knew this us, or not, bro. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. That's what somebody told me. That's all it is, man. But like I said, I get tired of people using us to prosper. It's been the story of this country. It's been the story of the story, various story of this pod, bro. No, like it's just, not. If I, I've been fucking carry this motherfucker to my left. Just, Talk about it. I oh, couldn't yeah, tell you how many. Wait a minute. Three seasons I in, man. My back is killed me. <laughs> Maybe you showed up three seasons ago, but I've been here since. So let me stop. No, like, oh, anyway, anyway. We're not putting you in the documentary. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody come here to see you, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! All right, man. Um, how many other things did we miss? 
Because we had like. No, nah, we did good, bro. We did pretty good. That was good. Court, welcome back, man. That Stop missing good, Thursdays, man. man. Most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Can y'all make sure y'all prayers is, is sent up for me on Thursdays, man? Yeah, please. Because Court be going bro. through it. Oh, no shit. Man, we didn't even get into it. Yeah. don't want me here. Yeah, no, that's what it is? <laughs> right. Yeah, traffic don't want you here, bro. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Man. And who that's runs why we need ATL scoop, bro. No, nah, they're the, they the ones holding him back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it's homecoming season in the A. Um, uh, shout out to HBCUs. I wanted to shout out always supporting us. Absolutely. Um, this is one of the sweaters. I copped this at which one I copped this? It wasn't Howard's homecoming. It was something in DC. Your man Capone Gump. Broccoli Fest a few years ago. Oh, broccoli um, Fest. I just wanted to show and highlight this, man. What it, what it says: Black college, black of the college, sweeter than knowledge. So yeah, I just wanted to shout out them and show more support. CAU is um next weekend, Morehouse Spelman. Uh, I think they're doing everything virtual believe, this I year. I believe it's the illustrious, the illustrious CAU. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Joe. Because like I said, listen, I I need I need me a Letterman's jacket that says mm. that says Homecoming alumni instead of CAU. <laughs> homecoming home. Listen, that's hard, right? Act like y'all didn't hear that because I may still yeah. do that, but. Uh, <laughs> That, yo, that's hard. Listen. Like anyway, it. so yeah, homecoming season right, upon yo. us. Man. See y'all outside. Uh, Saturday. Where am I? Saturday. Oh, I'm outside Saturday. Shout out to the homie Reggie Rock coming in town. We about to ten in month. Yeah. Anyway, uh, see y'all Sunday. Oh, BQE. Cuba. Oh, um, <laughs> it's end of Libra season. Damn, that means it's Scorpio time. Jesus. Hide the kids. Hide the wife. Um, uh, <laughs> hide the husbands. <laughs> Yikes. We we'll see y'all uh, next week, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all, man. Three, two, one. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs>